Last month, Brazil's TAM and Chile's LAN Airlines announced plans to merge, creating Latin America's biggest carrier. To me, this deal makes financial sense to both companies involved and represents a great opportunity for investors. For one, the combined new LATAM airline group will now become the new dominant player in an extremely positive business environment. The IMF predicts that Chile's economy will expand by 6% next year, leading Latin American growth. As incomes throughout the region have increased, so too will demand for travel. In July, passenger revenues for all the Latin American carriers grew 14% and freight traffic jumped 25%. In five years, there will be more people in the urban areas of Latin America than in Europe, and that represents a huge opportunity for travel companies. Second, LATAM Airlines could see $400 million a year in combined synergies thanks to cost savings as well as the increase in cargo and passenger revenue. Third, this is an all-stock deal, meaning the new company will have the flexibility to spend its cash on much-needed route expansion and fleet upgrades allowing it to win customers away from its competitors. In July, LAN ordered 50 new planes from Airbus. And finally, the Brazilian and Chilean currencies are likely to appreciate against the U.S. dollar, giving investors an added benefit. While the U.S. airlines are likely to suffer from the slowing economy and lack of consumer spending, it's a much different story in Latin America. The airline sector there, and especially LATAM, is the ultimate pro-cyclical, pro-consumer play. And we're likely to see more M&A activity outside the travel industry. Keep an eye on Bank of Brazil, Latin America's biggest bank in terms of assets. It's planning to make acquisitions in Chile and may further expand in Peru, Colombia, and Uruguay. Until next time, have a great day and happy trading.